Hey guys, I am starting this vlog off just, just kind of chill. It is Monday, July 5th, so the day after 4th of July. We have been just kind of hanging out at the house, relaxing, because yesterday we went to a friend's house. We had some fun. If you saw the last reading vlog, like you'll see all the fun stuff we did. I also went to the used bookstore today, so I'll give you a little sneak peek here in a second. But um, since my birthday was a couple days ago, I still have packages showing up. So I figured I'd open some on camera because I don't know what all these are. I think like one of these I bought, but like I bought like a shirt. Let's see. Oh, oh. Okay, so I got Gideon the ninth. And this is from Chelsea Zhao. Oh my God. Thank you, Chelsea. I have been wanting to read this. I've heard such good things. And uh, we should buddy read it. Because you said on here that you want to desperately get to it. So we should buddy read this. Because I really want to get to this too. Because I've heard such good things. And it looks like it's like blurbed by everyone I love. Like V.E. Schwab. Like I've heard such good things about this. What do we have next? I hate these packages. Let's see. Is this the one I bought myself? Yeah. This is the package I bought for myself. And it's a shirt. <laughs> That's the thing about like buying stuff for myself during my birthday month. It's always like, is it a gift? Is it the clothes I bought? So I just bought a black shirt. Nothing fancy. Just, just needed a simple black shirt. We got that. Now I got, ooh, we got two more. Yeah. Who is this one from? Oh! So, okay, this is from Jesse May and I got Shadow of the Gods. Okay, so I've read the arc of this, absolutely loved it, knew I needed to own it just hadn't bought it for myself yet right so thank you Jesse because I loved this book and it's funny because I didn't like malice <laughs> don't hate me she loved it but I didn't like malice I loved this though so I'm excited because now I can reread it in a physical form because when you read the arc sometimes there's like things that get changed not like super changed, but like a, like slight changes. So I'm really excited to read this because I adored the characters in this book. Orca is like one of my new favorite characters. You'll see her on a list soon, I'm sure. But oh, it's so good. And the flop, please look at this flop. You know I'm a hardback girl, but man, I love, I love a good flop. And that's a good flop. And that dragon, bro, it's wrapping. Wrap around dragon love her we love her here now this book is heavy whatever is in this box I could defend myself with like it's not quite like Oathbringer status but I could defend myself with this who sent this who you this arrived earlier than you thought it would because we talked the other day Leslie, I love you. I love how it says happy birthday month because you know I celebrate the whole month. Like the whole month of July is my birthday, right? So I've been dying to get to Six of Crows and I talked to Leanne from Leanne's library and she's like, no, even if you didn't like Shadow and Bone, read it, you will love it. Surprisingly, her and I have similar tastes and like Six of Crows is one of her absolute favorites. So now, I have both the full duology. So this is going right up the TBR, which is funny because I was talking to my friend the other night about it and she said the same thing. Like she didn't really like Shadow and Bone original series, but loved Six of Crows. So now I don't have excuses. I have to get to Six of Crows now. And oh my God, this is such a nice box set. Thank you, Leslie. Like I don't expect anything from people. And just the fact that people care enough about me that have met me here just online to like send me a birthday present is like 
so touching and like heartwarming and it's like strange at the same time because like you feel like we become friends and it's like a lot of these people like I talk to all the time and I feel like they are my friends some people I've met in person or would meet in person or plan to meet in person like it's just amazing what this community has become to me like it's so special and important and all these people that I just I love you guys like we're friends we're like I do I now I'm just like a babbling mess so before I get too emotional let me tell you what I'm reading I am only 10% in to what we devour so far so good it's an arc from NetGalley so I'm gonna try to read a ton of it tonight like I'm gonna try to like power through because I have so much that I want to read in July I just filmed my July TBR like way late because today's the fifth and I just filmed it today oops feel like Alan filming shit late like late wrap-ups late late stuff sorry Alan I feel like I'm channeling you today in my my lateness with my videos but yeah I have a shit ton of books that I want to read in July and like four of them are arcs from NetGalley so I'm like <laughs> yeah gotta I think I have like four or five arcs we're gonna power through though so I will catch up to you guys next time when I have another update later this week bye <laughs>
so much. For a standalone, it's a lot, <laughs> y'all. I'm just like, what is going on? And I don't honestly have very many like emotions for the main character. Like we're in her head, but like I don't really feel for her very much. So like I like her and she's really cool and like conniving and smart and I really like the main character and I really, really like the heir. He is probably my favorite character, but like I just don't care that much about her. Like he's the only character I care about. Like literally we had a character death and I just was like, huh? What just happened? Like, it's weird. Like, there's, like, weird transitions where, like, I have to go back and be like, okay, what just happened? Did I miss something? Because, like, we just went from this to that real quick in, like, a page. So, there's just, like, little complaints that I have. But, honestly, right now, I'm just rolling with it. And I feel like it's going to be a three star. Sorry, I'm yawning. We have, like, a crazy day. So, I'm in Central Florida. And we had Hurricane Elsa come through today which was like a baby. It wasn't, I don't even think it got up to a cat one. I think it was just like a tropical storm, but like everybody freaked out. Like y'all, we're Floridians. Like why are we freaking out over a tropical storm? Like cat one. I think it's cause we didn't really have like anything last year. I don't know. But like stuff closed. It was annoying. I was supposed to be at work today to take my kid to the dentist, but then the dentist was closed and I have to call in the morning. And now I'm just tired. <laughs> so I'm just going to sit here and see if I can finish a what we devour. Because I really want to finish this tonight. Because I have other stuff I want to read. I want to start. I don't know what I'll start next. I don't know if I'm going to start Cemetery Boys next. I might finish 10,000 Doors of January. Because it's like a physical and I'm like partway through it. To just like get that finished. And then I don't know. We'll figure it out.
stories. So I am awful, apparently. Like, I don't even remember what the last, like, clip of me talking was because I haven't really read anything. Um, there's a bunch of, like, clips from the beach and stuff, though. So, like, those were really cute. You got a bunch of, like, cute beachy stuff, but I really didn't read while I was there. Like, I read a couple chapters of Mother of All, I think, on the way there. So, I'm, like, 10% into it. So, like, I really don't have thoughts yet. I don't even know. What did I update you on last? I did finish What We Devour. It was weird. I didn't really like it. I don't remember if I talked about that or not. I don't know. But, like, it was a weird... I haven't really read anything, so I didn't really have any updates. But, like, we went to the beach, and that was a lot of fun. And I... Ooh! I got my concept art back for my back piece. And August 8th, I have my very first session of that. That is going to be a very large undertaking. It is a very large piece that I'm going to be doing. It's like full back. It is two cover-ups and a full back. So that'll be fun. Um, so I think tonight I'm going to, I was going to read some Mother of All, but I really want to like catch up on stuff that I've been like slacking on. So I'm going to try to see how much, Ooh, the dog just knocked about knocked me over. See how far I can get into $10,000 of January. Cause I'm over halfway done. I have like a hundred pages left, I think about like that much. So I think I'm gonna try to finish it. Let's go. Last night, I gave like the most random update and I'm pretty sure I have completely forgot to mention one of the books that I read. Um, so I updated you and said that like I finished What We Devour, which was, still don't know how I feel about it. I'm going to film a full review, but it's weird because it was like a three star book and I don't normally do reviews on like my three stars because normally they're just like whatever, but like I feel like I have a lot to say about that one. So we're going to talk about that later. Um, but I also read and finished Descendant of the Crane. Descendant of the Crane? Six Crimson Cranes. If I can remember the names of these books, that'd be freaking fantastic, right? Don't mind me. I'm a mom of two working from home and doing all kinds of crazy shit. So it's been a crazy week, y'all. And it's going to be like a ridiculously crazy weekend. So mm, we'll see what happens. But I read Six Crimson Cranes. And I really liked it. Like, it was one of my most anticipated books. And for good reason. I really, really enjoyed it. Um, it was very magical, whimsical, fairy tale-esque. It wasn't very, like, hard magic and da-da-da-da-da. It was a very whimsical story. And that ending, that ending, I am so excited. Like, it's going to be a fantastic series. Like, oh, my God that ending. I'm excited for it. Also, last night I finally finished, I can stop yawning for like a minute every time I turn this camera on, I finally finished um, $10,000 of January. I loved it. I gave it four stars. Like, I loved it so much though. Like, again, this is one of those very comparable to Starless Sea vibes. Story in a story. Whimsical, magical, doesn't really have a lot of hard magic. And I don't know, I've been really, really into that lately. And this cover is so pretty, except for this. I think this is like a legit sticker. Oh, it is. It's not like a fake sticker. Does buy one, get one half off? Uh, I'm ripping it off now. Oh, oh, we came off all at once, like all pretty much in one piece. That's oddly satisfying, right? Thank you for being a real sticker and not a fake sticker. But... God, it's a beautiful cover. And I really liked it. Again, we're just, you know, following a main girl January with her weird little name that actually has an explanation. And it's set in like the early 1900s. She's like a mixed black and 
it's a whole thing and like it is so good it's so much more than i expected it to be like there's commentary on race and there's commentary on gender and there's commentary on just so many different things and alexi haro's writing is fantastic this is the second book that i've read by alexi haro i also read spindle splintered which is their short story about like sleeping beauty and i really really enjoyed that i need to read what is it once in future witches yeah, I know it was in the back of this. Once in Future Witches, which is their other book, their other full-length novel that they have out. And I just, I really am liking Alexi e. Harrow's writing. And I recommend picking up 10,000 Doors January if you, if you can. Oh my God, y'all. If you see me fidgeting, it's because when I was at the beach, I, I burnt, the only place that I got burnt was back of my legs. And it's because it's just the most susceptible area for me because I'm super white. And as you saw, I wore SPF 50. I wore long sleeve, like rash guard most of the time. I wore shorts because my thighs started to get burnt because <laughs> I'm pasty pale y'all. And like, I'm okay with being pasty pale. Like I just, I don't have melanin and it makes me sad, but like this is me tan from the beach. Cause like, I don't want to get skin cancer. So I like sunscreen up and I, wear the long sleeves and especially save tattoos like I don't want them to fade and I want to take care of them but the back of my knees like right behind my knees and man it itches so bad but from standing with my kids like in the water where it's like the my knee like knee level to me right so it's like my knees and the back of my knees are like just barely out of the water and then the sun coming down and it reflects off the water so you burn more and just that area it got me I know y'all don't care about my itchy sunburned legs, but it's a thing. So tonight I'm going to start my Patreon book and that is Blaze Wrath Games. Um, I'm going to be doing a like Patreon exclusive reading vlog for this. So I'll give y'all some updates, but most of them are going to be on my Patreon for this because this is our book that was picked for the month. And I'm really excited. Jesse May sent me this. For Christmas. I don't know if it's a series or if it is a standalone. I hope, I don't know. I never know if something's a series or a standalone. Like, especially like these, because it's like, oh, it was like a little hyped on BookTube when it like first came out and then like no one really talked about it. So I don't know. We're going to find out though. Hey guys. So I haven't updated in a couple days. But, uh, we had a crazy busy weekend. I took t three of my nieces and my daughter to Orlando for like this reptile convention and I got to like see all the snakes and hold the snakes and the lizards and none of us came home with any pets. That was like the agreement with my sisters, but uh, I wanted to, but you know, I'm a big reptile fan. So, you know, it was sad, but we got to. I think I'll put the clip either before or like I'll put it after if I haven't. We um got to see they had oxalotls there and they look like little Pokemon. They're like salamanders, right? So that's the one pet that I've like convinced my husband that we can get is an oxalotl because he's really into fish tanks and they're tank creatures. Like they're completely aquatic. So uh, Willow, my daughter, got to feed the oxalotls and it was so cute. Like they're, they're tiny, but they grow to be like... They're pretty big creatures when they get grown. Um, so I'm excited because I think we're going to get one as on point. But I want to update you. I had read some of Blaze Wrath games. I'm really liking this. Um, there's one character I don't like so far, but I'm hoping that there's a reason for this character being unlikable. We'll see. I don't know. There's one character that makes me really mad. I am doing like a full reading vlog for just this book um, over my Patreon. So if you want to see that, you can do that. Also, out of my uh, norm, but a friend of mine, a very good friend of mine, whose uh, birthday it was recently, or is, we actually went out, which had me like down Sunday. Man, I'm not as young as I used to be. Like... We went out, I got a sitter, we went out to downtown and like had drinks and we went to like the bars and 
felt like I died the next day. Like the hangover was real. Like when you're in your thirties, you can't party like you're 21 anymore. Just saying. But she gave me this to borrow and I'm actually almost done with it. I'm going to finish it tonight. It's called Into Madness by A.K. Kunks. This is not my norm, but this is like a reverse harem Alice in Wonderland retelling. And y'all, it's kind of smutty and it's super funny. It's not like super smutty, but it's definitely like getting there. But y'all, it's freaking hysterical. I, it doesn't take itself seriously. Like, this girl is just like, so you're the white rabbit? And the guy's like, I don't understand. And she's like, and you're the March Hare? And he's like, I guess. And I was like, some people know that they're in Wonderland and that's a story. And then like, some people don't. And they're, everybody is a character. And like, it's so funny. It's good. And it's funny. And I'm invested in it. And it's a really quick read. It's like, I'm about to finish it. So I'm going to finish this tonight. And then hopefully read some more Blaze Wrath games. So I will update you. Also, I did get new glasses. Um, they're massive. I got the anti-reflective stuff and the blue right light stuff. And I actually got like the clip-on thing to make them into sunglasses. But I got them from Zenny Optical, which is where I get like almost all my glasses for me and my daughter. So they were cheap. <laughs> I buy cheap glasses, what can I say? But yeah, I'm gonna get started on that. Hey guys. So I'm updating from my blog. I'm still reading Blaze Wrath games for my Patreon. Did I tell you I finished this into the madness? Ridiculousness? I think I told y'all I finished this. Like sometimes I forget what I updated and like I don't watch the clips back. So y'all are probably getting double updated. But yeah, finished, finished this madness. Probably going to read the rest of the series at some point. My friend said that it doesn't get bad. Like, it gets worse. Like, books two and three are not as good as this one, apparently. But, y'all, if you... I'm not a smut reader. I'm not a romance reader. And I loved this because it was funny. Like, it was smutty, but it was not, like, overly smutty. But it was still hysterical. I loved it. But I want to show y'all a little sneak peek. So, y'all know... I'm still waiting to do my July book haul. I haven't done it yet. I ordered myself some books. I haven't all gotten here yet. I had gift cards and stuff as gifts. But I've got like this big stack of books to haul for my July book haul. But I'm really excited because this one that I bought myself just showed up. And it's... I was putting it off getting it. And I got a gift card from like everybody at work. And so I was like, you know what? I'm just going to buy it. And it is the full saga compendium like this is everything yo i've only read volume one and i freaking loved volume one i love the art i love the story like it's definitely not something to read around the children i was debating on getting like the really pretty um hardback com little compendiums but this I just, I don't know what it is. I just wanted it in this massive format. So there's that. And then I also picked myself up this beautiful copy of Alice in Wonderland, which is hysterical because I just finished reading Smutty Alice in Wonderland. And now I got regular Pretty Alice in Wonderland. This is the Barnes and Noble one. No lie, I got this because I got my friend one for her birthday. Shh. She doesn't watch my videos. I got my friend one for her birthday. And even if she does watch my videos, like this is up before or after or whatever. But it's, I just wanted to put it in her, her box, her gift bag that I got her because she loves Alice in Wonderland and I love Alice in Wonderland. So I got her one that's over there wrapped. And then I got me one because I couldn't say no. And like the... Like, it's the Barnes & Noble, like, kids classics. So they had, like, the massive one, which I probably also will end up getting because I love Alice in Wonderland. If you're wondering, love Alice in Wonderland. But, yeah, I just think the art is really cool. The illustrations. I love anything illustrated. So, I'm a child. I love children. I love myself as a child. I'm an illustrator illustrations. And then I got Spin the Dawn from my friend Sam for my birthday. 
I'm so excited to read this. Thank you so much, Sam. And I, it, Mulan and it's like Mulan meets Project Runway. And I was super interested to read this when it came out. And then the sequel came out and I still haven't read it. But then Six Crimson Cranes came out and I read the arc. And I loved it. And it's the same author, same world. Stories are disconnected, but it's like the same like universe. So very excited. I also bought myself some other stuff, but I'll show you that when I do like the full book haul and like look cute. I also did get myself some new glasses so I can see with my eyeballs. And that's about it. That's what we're doing right now. I think I'm going to read some more Blaze Wrath games. Oh, I'm also reading Mother of All. I'm like a quarter of the way through and I'm liking it more than book two, but still not as much as book one. So we'll see how I feel at the end because I have an idea of what's going to happen at the end of the series. And like, if that's what happens, then it's gone full, full circle. And like, that's great, but I don't know. There's still some like character decisions that I didn't love that have not been made up for. Like, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how I feel. And then like, I don't know. I'm only 25% in, but I'm like, there's characters that are missing. And then there's like something weird that happened to our like main villain. And you're like, what? So I don't know. I, I don't know. I want to recommend this series because like I spoke so highly of the first one, but I feel like it didn't go in a direction I wanted it to. <laughs> and it's making me mad. And like part of me just wants to read that and part of me wants to just read Blade Roth games and part of me wants to like pick up the other books on my TBR because I'm just like all over the place. Ooh, that hair. Tomorrow's wash day. So like you can tell I'm getting a little greasy. I'm actually going out to lunch tomorrow with some of the girls from the office and a former employee and then like a bunch of us that like really like her and still talk to her. So I'm excited for that. I'd take the boy with me. So yeah, super fun. I will update hey you guys. guys so we're wrapping up this vlog. I don't even know what is going on. This vlog is so messy. So I'm sorry. There's like talking about this book and that book. And I think this is like two weeks worth of clips like it's a mess but I finished Blaze Wrath Games which is my Patreon book liked it gave it four stars had some issues with it but I think I'm gonna do a full review I also finished uh, Mother of All which is the last book do you hear that it's fine the toilet's broken the chain keeps coming off the toilet it's not broken It's not broken. I just have to put the chain back on because y'all keep knocking it off. It's not broken. They keep knocking the chain out of the toilet. Children. Anyway, I finished reading Mother of All, which is the third book, the final book in the Women's War series. And I gave it three stars. It's probably like a 3.5 rounded but I did have some issues with it, but I liked it better than the second book. It ended on a note that I was happy with. Like, I like how it ended. I liked how all of our main characters ended up. Um, it definitely wasn't like a thrillingly happy ending, but this isn't like a happy series. But like everything was ended pretty well. There are some issues though with it like for some reason we thought it was a good idea to just like introduce these like new characters that we're supposed to care about in the third book of a trilogy and I'm like who are these people and some of the names kept getting confused in my head because like there were so many characters in this book and it's like but why we don't need all these characters like we have characters that could have served the same function so that didn't really make sense to me we still did not venture outside of the binary with it which was like really disappointing I was really hoping that we would venture outside of that male female binary just because of how like it's very structured this world is you know there were some things that I think were good and some things that I think I didn't like and all in all though I did like this series as a whole 
And I liked, you know, the mothers in it. And I liked that. I liked the exploration of grief from like a mother's perspective. But there was still just, just some things that I didn't love. But I would still recommend reading this series if you can get it like cheap. Does that make sense? But yeah, that is my entire vlog for this session of my life like I don't know how long this vlog is I don't know I think this is like two weeks but it might be longer it might be less I don't know I just am going with it and we're gonna edit it all together and see what we got for y'all but I will see you guys next time bye